Hey guys, welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at the Clickbank marketplace and learn how to find a good offer and how to you know, know what is a good offer, what is a bad offer to promote. So in case you don't know what Clickbank is and you know what the hell I'm doing here, uh, just click on the link at the bottom right of your screen. There's going to be a link to a blog post that explains everything. So just click there and you get all the information you need. Once you've read that, come back to this video. And for those who know what we're doing here, let's go and check it out. So when you click on Marketplace inside Clickbank, you have this list of all categories, right? Now you have to know that not all categories are very popular on Clickbank. The most popular by far is health and fitness. So if you have a health and fitness site, you're going to love it because uh, there's a lot of offers. Um, but something like, you know, self-help or reference, even if I click there, you know, there's not going to be uh, many good offers at least, and we'll we'll, so we'll see how to recognize a good offer. But yeah, it's not it's not nearly as good. Uh, so for this example, I'm gonna go in cooking food and wine, and I'm not gonna take health because that would be too easy. And you can see that if you click here, you can actually uh, get a bunch of subcategories: so barbecue, baking, cooking, etc. So you would want to find a category that's related to your niche. And in my case, um, I'm gonna talk about paleo paleo diet because uh, it's just a great example. There's a lot of offers and we'll be able to compare them. So if you look around, you can see a bunch of numbers. And if you have never been in Clickbank, you don't really know what they mean. And the first number you're going to look at is the average dollar per sale. And the average dollar per sale is exactly what it says. It's the average dollar amount of dollars you will make per sale if you make a sale for that product. So you can see these guys are around $12, $14, $23. $17, $30, $24, it's obviously quite a bit. And you know, most beginner affiliates are going to be looking for the biggest number here. So they'll be like, oh, $30, that's what I want to promote. Uh, it's not the right way to approach things because really the amount of money you make, sure, it's, it's the amount of money you make per sale, but it's also the conversion rate. So if you get 1% of people buying the $30 offer, it's not as good as getting 5% of people buying the $12 offer, you make you still make more money on the $12 offer. So going for the highest paying product is usually not a good idea, especially if you're pushing people for their first sale. Um, when you want people to make a first purchase, it's usually a cheap purchase. Um, but what you would be looking for is this little arrow here, which means there is an upsell. And an upsell is once people have checked out, they will be offered a complimentary product or something extra to increase the card value. So it will jump from, you know, $12 to, you know, an extra $30 or $20 or whatever. And they will increase their card value to eventually be able to reach, you know, the $30 that we sell below. So yeah, looking for cheap offers with upsells tend to be better. Um, and in order to know really what's working, the main metric you're going to look at is this number here, the gravity number. And the gravity number, I think, is the number of affiliates that have made money in the last 12 weeks from that offer. Um, so in that case, it's 295.46, so why 0.46? It's because actually it's not exactly the number of affiliates, um, but it is each affiliate is given a score from 0 0.1 to 1, depending on how recently they made their last sale. So if they made their last sale an hour ago, they're gonna get, give one point of gravity. If they made their last sale 11 weeks ago, they're gonna have 0 0.1 point of gravity. And so that's why you see this little uh, uh, comma thing. And what you're looking for is a product that a lot of affiliates, you know, have successfully sold. Because if, the, if a lot of people are able to sell it, it probably means the sales page is converting a lot. Now, if you want to see the sales page of the product, you can just click on this and just open a new tab. And this should be opening the sales page. In that case, this is Truth About Apps, which is a very, very high converting uh, add on, on Clickbank. And a lot of people, when they're not familiar with, you know, sales pages and all these things, it's quite difficult for them to tell, is that a good sales page? I mean, this, for a lot of people, they'd be like, there's no way I would buy from a page like this. And you'd be surprised. Uh, a lot of people do. And people need these very long sales pages. And, you know, you can see the discount thing, etc. Very few people, uh, a lot of people would say, I would never buy from this. But you need to think, from the perspective of someone that's looking for the solution that product is offering. And in that case, uh, just like 
fat burning kitchen so it's like losing weight by cooking properly so a lot of people want to lose weight and you know have this kind of diabetes problem etc without exercising so the only way they're going to solve that is by uh cooking properly so this kind of this can be a good sales page and you can tell by the gravity this is very high gravity uh it means like yeah 295 people made money in the last 12 in the last 12 weeks from the offer but this is not paleo right so if you wanted to restrict it to paleo you would just go in the search engine up there and we just type paleo and then it, since we said gravity is a good thing i would probably like up my gravity a bit to like maybe 20 um, just to see like the offers that to remove the offers that really don't have any traction and you can see here uh, i start having a bunch of paleo offers so paleo restart solid a program 24 gravity paleo recipe book 126 gravity uh, an average of 21 per cell. Now the next thing I would look at is uh, the rebuild. So the rebuild is usually uh, there is some kind of continuity offer that comes after these offers. So you can see probably the first one is just going to be the 30-day program in that case. But then maybe they offer a membership or they offer like a course that's you know over time or something. And that means that people can subscribe and you know pay over time for these products. And as an affiliate, you will make a percentage of these sales as well. And you can see the average rebuild total here is only 390, so it's pretty low. And the average, and and you take 40% of the rebuild uh, of the rebuild, so they you know they probably charge like nine dollars or something. Uh, and here, however, the initial sell is 16 dollars, but the average rebuild total is 36 dollars. So when people rebuild, you actually make quite a bit of money. You make double the money. You you basically triple the amount of money you make. Uh, once you add up everything and on average people make $21.62 so I would say the upsell is probably taken by like 10 to 20 percent of people um, but that's a pretty good one if it converts highly it makes $21 per sale and it's just a recipe book so there's a lot of angles in which you can sell it uh, you can just find the benefits of some recipes in the book and, and sell it that way now if you look at it you also have a bunch of you know more niche products so like the paleo hack Cookbook is great, the Paleo recipe book, sorry. But for example, Skin Intervention, Skin Care with Paleo. And I like it because if I sell the recipe book to people, there's absolutely no reason that a couple of weeks later, I cannot hit them with email and sell them the guide to having clear skin with Paleo. And a lot of people would absolutely uh, use it. Maybe some people got in Paleo for that. So like I can actually sell these two things to my list and I already have like two products you know, obviously it's only 20 gravity, but that's because it's more niche. So less people are selling it. Uh, so yeah, I would actually think it's pretty good. Now, if you wanted to filter more, so imagine that you wanted to make, you know, maybe you don't want to make less than $20 per sale or something like that. You can actually play with the filters on the left to just um, to just match what, you, what you're looking for. So like now everything is above $20. As I said, it's not necessarily recommended um, because conversion rate is by far the most important metric. I'd rather have like 50% conversion rate and make $1 per conversion than 1% conversion rate and make $25 per conversion. You make double the money. So that's basically, that's how I would go through the ClickBank marketplace and look for my offers. It's, it's pretty simple. And there's a breakdown of all these metrics over on the blog post. So click on the link if you haven't been there. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up, uh, subscribe on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.